Hello everyone and welcome back to another Math Monday. Today I am going to be reviewing this book called Introducing Fractal Geometry. So fract fractal geometry was a very interesting field that was kind of discovered primarily by, I believe his name was Benoit Mandelbrot, Mandelbrot? deepest apologies if I'm saying that incorrectly. Um, and you've probably seen some of this stuff. So this, this was discovered or yeah, primarily discovered in the 1970s, I believe is when the key, um, stuff was discovered for this field but as they discuss in this book and I'll get into uh, the mathematician kind of built on some of the previous works so this book is yeah just kind of an overview of this field of mathematics and some of the interesting stuff in it so the first thing that appealed to me is that everything is in one pages and uh, like one page like here's the topic and here's the information and it's each page is just that like you don't get much more detail than that so I thought this would be a really good introduction but I was actually pleasantly surprised but also surprised at how deep it got so the book is definitely not maybe a beginner's beginner's book just because they expect you to have some familiarity with regular geometry as well as calculus and despite kind of having these simplistic pictures and pages they actually move quite quickly and they cover quite a bit of ground and a lot of interesting stuff and i found myself as i went through this thinking oh that's really interesting but we're already moving on to the next section however i think the book does do a really good job of introducing the key topics and the key people they kind of introduce you to a wide variety of different things that tie into fractal geometry they also go through benoit mandelbrot's a biography kind of how he wound up doing what he did. He kind of fell out of the acad academia system for a while. He was working at IBM, I guess, which he thinks was a really big, uh, I guess, blessing or advantage to his work. And the so they go through how this field developed, some of the pre-work that was built on when this field was discovered, the mathematician who kind of discovered this works, kind of his biography and how he discovered it, as well as some applications. So they actually squeeze quite a bit, despite them only doing these one pages. And it's very... I think if you have the, a little bit of background in this, and I would just say if you're not easily scared off by things, this book would be very, very enjoyable. So I found this book very, very enjoyable, but I can see how, despite looking rather simplistic, it actually might be kind of overwhelming for someone who doesn't have that math background. But overall, I thought this was a, a pretty decent book. Um, again, this is probably for someone who has a little bit of comfortability with fractal geometry. But I think anyone could probably give it a read. It's, again, this pretty short. And each section, you could go so much deeper. So they're kind of just covering the key topics on this stuff. Um, and just getting you started with all of it. This one reads really, really quick, I think, because of the format. But there's so much more you could go into this. Um, there's a lot of great content in this. And I definitely think if fractal geometry interests you, you should try giving this one a read. Other than that, everyone, I hope you have a great Monday.